TFNN. Headline News Update. Good morning, everybody. I'm Tommy O'Brien coming to you live from TFNN, 9 a.m. Eastern Time, Wednesday morning. We got 30 minutes to go until the opening bell and markets in positive territory. Some more positive vaccine news coming out from Pfizer and BioNTech, a final analysis of their vaccine. We got the first interim analysis last Monday. Now they're talking about a final analysis. Looks even better than the interim. We're coming in at 95 percent effective market liking that news. Following up the Monday news we got with Moderna this Monday. We got the S&Ps up by eight, NASDAQ up by eight as well, Dow up 120, Boeing putting a lift in the Dow as well. They're 737 max allowed to fly. 20 months that has been grounded, but they are getting certification to get the 737 max back in the air. Now they just have to find some airlines to sell them to. Uh, the Russell 2000 up by five points, trading at 1797. Crude up 60 cents at 42.24. You see the bid the crude caught up to almost 42.70. Gold backing off a bit, off about eight to eight. $8 at 1876. We were as low as almost 1860 at about 7 a.m. before bouncing a bit off those lows. Silver off 13 cents. We got a little bit of a lower low as well, the 2425. And we got to talk about Bitcoin. I wasn't able to cover it during my show. We got too much going on, but Bitcoin, how about that spike to 18,540? You put that on a five year weekly. We're coming right up to that high, folks, of 20,650. That is when futures began trading December of 2017. You're talking about three years. We're coming back. It's pretty, it would be remarkable if we did not come back up and test that level now, right? You got PayPal offering crypto services on your PayPal account. Um, that just a growing market for sure. All right, jumping it back to a 15 minute. We'll jump to Pfizer first. A little bit of a pop on their acceleration on the final analysis. BioNTech, BNTX, I believe, is that them? Yes, it is. They're higher as well to 9160. The headline you will see, Pfizer, BioNTech, plant filing as vaccine proves 95% effective. Strong numbers in here. You're talking about a study of 40 some odd thousand. Where's the number? 44,000 participants. And the raw numbers talking about 170 trial participants contracted COVID-19, eight who got the vaccine fell ill, 162 who got the placebo fell ill. Uh, efficacy in people older than 65 was more than 94%. Those uh, vulnerable populations, and we gotta talk about lows, strong numbers for lows, but they trade lower and strong numbers for target. They are higher, but dramatically um, beating across the board up by about $3. Stay tuned, folks. Basil Chapman's coming up next. And don't forget about his class. Check it out on the front page of TFNN.com. It's tomorrow. We'll be right back.